Queensland Senator Larissa Waters' forced resignation over her dual citizenship has been labelled sloppy by the Prime Minister. She is the second Green Senator in a week to stand down over a citizenship oversight. Now the party's leader is pleading with the government not to force the pair to repay their parliamentary salaries. The feeling on the streets of Inner Brisbane seemed to be it's the law at fault, not the Senator who broke it. I think it's bullshit. <laughs> Be quite honest, you know, it's discrimination in a sense. It's a tragedy. I mean, she was a really good. She's been a really good sen senator. It's a pity. I think she did good work, but you have to follow the rules. An emotional Larissa Waters yesterday resigned after discovering she's a Canadian citizen, despite leaving the country of her birth as an 11-month-old. The constitution doesn't allow dual citizens to run for federal parliament. That clause has caused the Greens' second casualty within a week, after WA's Scott Ludlam revealed he's also a New Zealand citizen. It is pretty amazing, isn't it, that yeah. uh, you've had two out of nine Green senators have, uh, didn't realise that they were citizens of another country. And it shows incredible sloppiness on their part. We should have uh, triple-checked, and we didn't. Uh, our party processes need to change. The Greens leader is now pleading with the government not to pursue his former colleagues for hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of salaries after waiving the debt of other recently disqualified senators. I would be shocked if they were to conclude that for some reason Senator Ludlam and Senator Waters should be treated differently to Senator Day. It's a bit like if you had an issue in your working visa. You've done the job, you've been paid, you can't take the money back. Graham Orr wants the constitution changed. How can an 11-month-old baby pledge allegiance to anything? If you're a citizen, you should be entitled to serve in the Australian Parliament. The other 23 overseas-born MPs and senators in federal parliament have been quick to prove they meet their constitutional requirements. Former Prime Minister Tony Abbott's tweeted, FYI, rumour mongers, I renounced my UK citizenship in 1993. Sam Dastiari posted that he renounced his Iranian citizenship, despite it being difficult, expensive, lengthy and precarious for his family still living in Iran. And Liberal MP Ian Goodenough tweeted, Singapore High Commission unequivocally confirmed, I'm part of Team Australia. Kieran McKechnie, ABC News, Brisbane.